I'm unused to being told what to do. <laughs> My parents found that out early. Okay. <laughs> So I don't have any poems in here, but I want to read a few, uh, three of the poets who are not here. Uh, the first uh, poet is Nancy Kenny Connolly, who is actually living now in, in uh, North Carolina. But she was living in Austin at the time. Everybody, all ten poets in, in this collection have lived in Texas at one time or another. Most of them are living in Texas now. I think only two are native Texans, however. It's so okay. Texas is a, is a confluence of, of influences and voices, and it's not quite the old regional hinterlands that it used to be. We have a lot of, a lot of sophisticated <coughs> poets in, in the state. So I'm going to start off with a, a couple of Nancy's poems before I get to two other poets. Nancy Kenny Connolly. It's the opening poem of the anthology. And I think she was the first poet that I included, and unfortunately I've met five or six other poets in San Antonio who I didn't know at the time, and I wish they were in here too. The Space Tele Telescope Song is the name of this first poem. Mustangs of interstellar planes, we gallop spacescapes unimagined by the passing specks of carbon chemistry, who see light's spectral sweep like the man who in a rainbow beholds one shade alone. Let's say pistachio. While we can picture the entirety for we screen microwaves, infrared and ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays, we are both lens and mirror of creation. Oh, tremble at such radiance. Galaxies swirl like snowflakes in a gale. Vast and vaster nebulae of incandescent hydrogen, nurseries of newborn stars, death shrouds of supernovae, in which we paw the dust of fledgling elements. We can rove the reaches of this universe and think God has this declared himself to any chosen molecules of carbon. Hell flickers at the slimmest candle beside furnaces of cosmic birth and dying. Come, ride with us the winds of space and sing the aching beauty, sing 